So, lately I've been playing a lot of GTA. You know, <laughs> doing the usual. And while playing, I noticed this beautiful location on the beach. Apparently it's supposed to be the Santa Monica Pier, from real life. It's located in California, next to the Venice Beach. In one of my recent videos, I actually built the Venice Beach-inspired place. So, it makes sense now to try and build the Spirit Minecraft. So, I think it's time we begin the building! Alright, before someone attacks me in the comments saying how this is too fast, how they want this video to be slower or whatever, this is not a tutorial, this is a time-lapse, a speed build of this entire structure that I'm building currently. I'm not showing you step-by-step step how to do everything, it's just for you to sort of enjoy, get inspired, so maybe you can build something very similar in your own game. So right now I'm just building the overall pier, the platforms that I'll place all the buildings on. The pier in real life is actually entirely on stilts, but here in my city I decided to have one part on stilts and the other part on some sort of like a concrete base. And also this is not gonna be nowhere as realistic as it is in real life, and also it's just way smaller. My city is usually inspired by LA, San Francisco, a little bit of New York as well, so I needed something very LA to add to the city, and this is why I'm building the pier. Right now I'm building the first building on the pier, as you can see it's one of the original buildings that exists on the pier. It's very unique because it has like a beige creamy base and then it has these turquoise cyan accents with the wood. All the railings and trims, like it looks really cool. Another thing is that none of these builds that I'm gonna build are actually gonna have interiors. That's because to build interiors, it will probably take me even longer, and I don't really know how the interiors look in some of these builds. But I did have a lot of fun building the exteriors, because I don't usually build these types of builds, so this is definitely something new for me. Now I'm building a second building. I think this one is supposed to be like a restaurant or something, like a seafood restaurant. I'm not really sure, but yeah, this one is actually really fun. I love the colors. Usually when I build buildings or houses, I stick to neutral colors. I never really go crazy with them, but I actually love how colorful this entire area is with all the colorful buildings and stuff. It's very vibrant. Yeah, all of these buildings and even the entire pier itself is way bigger in real life. I'm sort of building this on a much smaller scale, and I'm not trying to replicate it, like create a one-on-one -on -one replica. I'm just doing a Santa Monica pier-inspired pier in Minecraft. I actually really like this roof design. I think this building has such a cool roof design. Just look at it. 
Okay, now we are building the third building and the last building on this pier. This one is the most colorful because I'm using very vibrant colors. You know, the lime color, red, yellow. And I think in real life, this is like full of shops and restaurants. Yeah, the buildings at the Santa Monica Pier just have a totally different vibe compared to like the rest of LA in my opinion. But yeah, like, have you ever been to Santa Monica Pier? Have you ever been to LA? Do you live in LA? And do you like to visit the Santa Monica Pier? Now I'm just building the flower bed on the side as well as a fountain in front of the pier. This is where you actually enter and get onto the pier. I'm adding some lights. At night this pier is so bright, it's full of colorful lights and neon lights and it's a really cool place. One of the coolest parts of this entire structure that I'm gonna build is the ferris wheel which you're gonna see very soon but until then you're gonna watch me build some food stands and some gift shops. I think a lot of these food stands and people just selling stuff on the pier really add a lot of character to it. And now it's time to build a ferris wheel. This was probably the most challenging part of this entire process. It took me a while to figure out how, to, how I wanted the circle to be. The ferris wheel is actually quite hard to build in Minecraft. I've never built it before, so this was my first time trying. Now, I don't really know how big the original Ferris wheel is, but I feel like I got the scale of this one right. But I'm sure that the real life version of this Ferris wheel is way bigger. But yeah, I'm really satisfied with how this Ferris wheel turned out, and I feel like it's the main part of the pier. It's like the one thing people look at first. And I'm just gonna remind you to like this video and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Most of the people watching my channel are not subscribed, which kinda sucks. Um, and if you wanna watch more content from me, especially all the stuff that's coming up, you should definitely subscribe and stay tuned. And by liking this video, it will really help me out because the algorithm will share them with way more people so more people can get inspired and enjoy my content. Right now I'm building the roller coaster. I don't even know if this is a roller coaster. This is more of like a ride that you can take on the pier. In real life it's way more complicated and it has way more of those like swirls and curves. I just wanted to make it more simple. 
and smaller of course. I think with this entire building process of the pier, I really got to experiment and try building some things that I usually do not build ever. So I'm very happy with this build and it's definitely one that stands out on my channel and also in this entire city. And speaking of this city, if you want to watch me build an LA, San Francisco, New York inspired city in Minecraft, you should definitely watch my other videos. There is an actual playlist that I made as well, so you can check it out. And the main part of the pier is finished, now it's time to move on to the other part. So in real life, the pier has this extension that's like above water, there is a dock where you can go fishing, I think, and there is also like a restaurant on this part that's like larger at the end. And even if you aren't building an LA inspired city or town in Minecraft, I think adding a structure like this will bring a lot of character to your place, whatever you're building, you know? But yeah, now that it's summer and I'm done with college for now, yeah, I go to college, I'll have way more free time, so I'm probably going to publish more videos more often, and I really cannot wait to share all the stuff that I have planned for this channel. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. And now I'm building a very small version of the restaurant that exists on the pier. I don't even know what this is. I'm just building something, hoping for the best. Also, this shader that I'm using is so good. I'm sure you've noticed, but this shader is so beautiful and visually pleasing. It's called Complementary Reimagined. It's an edited version of the original Complementary shader that's one of the most popular shaders right now, and I'm a really big fan of it. I love the clouds, I love the lighting, it's just so stunning and realistic but also stylized in the same way. And yeah, we are almost done with this build. I don't know how many more minutes are left, probably zero, but I really hope you enjoyed this entire build process because I did, and let's move on to the tour. 